What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Boot Camp. In this video, we are going to talk about the werewolf hero, Roger. Roger has a good set of area of effect, buff, dash, shapeshifting, and burst skills. Our dire wolf hunter, Roger, is a marksman fighter hero. I consider Roger as a burst fighter for team fights, since his skills and basic attacks can easily rip enemies off. Not only that, he can shapeshift to be either a long-range marksman or a melee wolf. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Roger based on my experience. We will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Roger's passive Full Moon Curse let Roger receive either bonus slowing effects or extra damage depending on his form. As we mentioned earlier, Roger can shapeshift into a wolf or back to human form. When he is in human form, his basic attacks will slow down enemies by a certain percentage. While in wolf form, his basic attack deals extra damage based on the target's lost health points. Based on the description, this extra damage can only deal 60 damage max to creeps and minions. But when we tried it, it's 63 instead of 60. Also, this extra damage works on turrets but has the same damage limit with killing minions. Roger's first skill while in human form, open fire. Let Roger rapidly shoot twice from his weapon. The two shots deal certain amount of physical damage. The first shot is a hunter net. Enemies hit by this will have their movement speed reduced. On the other hand, the second shot will reduce the physical defense of the target by a certain amount. Roger's first skill while in wolf form, like in pounce, lets Roger jump towards his target. This will deal a certain amount of physical damage to the target and other two enemies nearby. During the jump, he won't take any damage from enemies. Having a kill or assist will reduce the cooldown of this skill massively. Also, this skill can make you pass through walls. Roger's second skill while in human form, Hunter Steps. Let Roger have his movement speed increased. Upon using this skill, Roger's movement speed will be boosted for a short period. Roger's second skill while in wolf form, Bloodthirsty Howl. Let Roger increase his own attack speed for a certain duration. During the boost, if there is an enemy with less than 40% health points within Roger's vision, his movement speed will increase massively. Roger's ultimate skill while in human form, Wolf Transformation, lets Roger leap forward and turn into a wolf. This skill is already available on level 1. Enemies hit will receive certain amount of physical damage and will have their move speed reduced. Also while in his wolf form, he receives an increase on his physical and magic defense, and increases his movement speed. Roger's ultimate skill while in wolf form, restore human form, lets Roger roll toward the designated direction and turns into a human. He gains a shield when using this skill. The shield lasts for a few moments. Lastly, the dash from shapeshifting can make you pass through walls. There are so many items that you can buy for Roger. You can focus on items that grants physical attack, attack speed, critical hit chance, or items that gives you additional true damage. You can focus on the Roburst build if you want burst damage dealing with your attacks. You can also focus on Street Dog build if you chose Retribution as your spell. And want to quickly eliminate jungle monsters. But let's focus on the Karumi way further. As for starting item, you can consider buying Hunter Knife. 
This will grant you additional experience and damage to jungle monsters. This is a great item in early game since it will help you level up faster while killing jungle monsters. For your kicks, just buy one pair of swift boots even if he has 4 feet on wolf form. Swift boots grants additional attack speed and movement speed. Having additional attack speed will make your attacks faster. This will let you deal lots of attacks, especially during team fights. Buying attack items, such as Endless Battle, can boost your damage effectively. This item gives you additional physical attack, health, mana region, lifesteal, movement speed, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive grants you additional true damage on your next basic attack after using a skill. Triggering the passive of this skill also grants you additional movement speed. With the fast cooldown of your ultimate skill, you can somehow abuse the extra true damage for your basic attacks. You also might want to consider Scarlet Phantom. This item grants physical attack, attack speed, and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional attack speed and critical chance after dealing a critical hit to an enemy. This buff lasts for a few seconds. You can consider buying Berserker's Fury. This item gives you additional physical attack and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional critical damage on your critical hits. Also, dealing critical hits will increase your physical attack by a certain amount for a short period of time. You might also want to consider Hoss's Claws. This item grants you life steal and additional physical attack. Its unique passive will grant you extra life steal when your health point reaches a certain point. Lastly, you might also want to consider Queen's Wings. This item grants physical damage, health points, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive reduces damage taken by 50% when your health is less than 40% and also increases your physical lifesteal by 30%. This lasts for 5 seconds. This effect has a 50 seconds cooldown. The item build for Roger really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Roger is Arrival. This lets you teleport to an allied turret or minion after casting it for a few seconds. Your movement speed will be increased after teleporting. Also, the next basic attack will be enhanced which will deal additional true damage and also reducing the target's movement speed. You can also consider Retribution. This will deal true damage to the target minion or jungle monster. When you have a jungling item, Having this spell will decrease the damage taken from jungle monsters permanently. This spell will help you farm more gold faster. Building items quickly in the early game will give you advantage against enemies, making it for you to prey easier on squishy targets like marksman and mage. You can also consider flame shot. Using this spell will knock back enemies hit, reduce their movement speed, and will deal certain amount of magic damage. This will be helpful on pushing back enemies chasing you. Or you can use this to deal the finishing blow to the enemies. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Assassin Emblem set. Custom Assassin Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a fighter assassin. Set agility to its max level because it can give you additional movement speed. Higher movement speed means higher chance to chase enemies or escape death. Setting Invasion to max level will provide you physical penetration. Higher physical penetration means higher damage on your basic attacks and skills. Get high and try to increase your damage to the target when he is the only nearby hero. This is advisable when you try ganking a single hero. But in case you are not that type, just consider Bounty Hunter or Killing Spree instead. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the base damage of this skill higher. That means the enemy will be receiving more damage. Prioritize second skill less since first skill is what you need for damage dealing. Always upgrade your ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Roger has lots of skills that you can formulate lots of combos. His mobility is outstanding. So better utilize his dash skills and shield absorption for survival. You can also use his skill set to reach your destination faster. So convenient, right? Roger's passive skill is what you need to rip your targets. In human form, your basic attacks will slow down enemies. This is actually a good thing since the Kurumi way engages in team fights by having human form first. The slowing effect is really helpful to easily chase enemies escaping death. On the other hand, this passive deals extra damage while on wolf form. 
The extra damage depends on a percentage of the health points lost from the target. This can help you rip off the target's limbs faster for dinner. Take note that the extra damage only affects a single target. Melee heroes deal basic attack damage to its target and other enemies beside it. So even if you deal basic attack damage to those nearby your main target, your main target will be the only one to receive the extra damage from your passive skill. Take note that this extra damage also works on turrets. So this will help you become a pushing rat along with the arrival spell. Roger's first skill is what you need for burst damage. In human form, this skill can slow down and weaken the target's physical defense. These debuffs could let you rip the enemies with ease. This skill has a really long range. So better use the range to your advantage on harassing enemies or dealing finishing blows. On the other hand, using this skill on wolf form lets pounce to up to three enemies. This pounce deals burst damage to three targets affected nearby each other. During the pounce, you will not receive any damage or I could say you are invulnerable during that time. We will test some scenarios regarding this skill later. Anyway, upon gaining a kill or assist, the cooldown of this skill will be reduced massively. So it's best that you always use this skill because of its cooldown reduction possibility. Just make sure you use this on the right occasion, since using it too early or late will result to either enemy's escape or your own death. Roger's second skill is what you need to buff yourself up. In human form, this skill grants you additional movement speed. This movement speed boost could help you chase enemies or escape imminent death. We tried if the movement speed bonus will be inherited by the wolf form. As you can see, the movement speed boost was carried over to our wolf form. You will know that Roja has movement speed boost when he is running with four legs. On the other hand, using this skill on wolf form buffs you with additional attack speed. This will help you rip off the enemy's limbs faster with your claws. Also, while this skill is in effect, his movement speed is boosted when there is an enemy nearby with health below 40%. We tried on how far the enemy should be to be considered on his vision. Here, you can see that the enemy is on our screen, but we are not boosted. Let's try to get nearer. As you can see, we were now boosted. So take note of this distance if you want to utilize the massive movement speed bonus from Bloodlust. We have tried if we can still inherit the attack speed buff from wolf form. As you can see, as long as the skill's duration isn't off, our attack speed was still boosted even if we are in human form. Roger's ultimate skill is what you need to shapeshift. In human form, Roger leaps toward a direction. His landing will deal physical damage and will slow down enemies. Don't underestimate the damage of the leap, as it could kill your foe as well. This is great since after you use your first skill with slowing effect and physical defense reduction, the leap will further slow them even more, making you scratch their itchy back in no time. This skill passively grants Roger additional physical and magic defense while on wolf form. On the other hand, using this skill on wolf form will let you roll and shapeshift back to human form. Upon rolling, you will be granted a short amount of shield. This is pretty useful especially during clutch moments that you need to survive. This skill is already available at the beginning of the match, so you can use this to reach your designated lane faster, since this skill also doesn't consume mana. So spam it all you want. You can also use this skill to dodge enemy skills and obstacles. So better practice and utilize this skill better. Here we go again with our experiments. We will test some scenarios against Roger. First, let's test if we can avoid inevitable death with our first skill. Let's test our first skill on Leslie's ultimate skill. Her ultimate can shoot bullets that could be fatal when you have low health. Let's see if we can dodge her bullet. As you can see, we were able to dodge the bullet that hit us during the like and pounds. Just make sure you have targets nearby to use your first skill on. How about let's try it against Tarly's ultimate skill. As you can see, we were able to dodge Harley's sudden burst damage from his ultimate skill. This is because we used Lycan Pounce at the right timing. Now, how about we test it on Aurora's ultimate skill. Let's see if we can dodge the damage from her ultimate skill. As you can see, we weren't affected by her ultimate skill. So in short, just make sure you use Roger's first skill at the right timing and it will help you survive inevitable death. Next, we did some testing against Franco. As we all know, Roger's ultimate skill to wolf form makes him jump. Can we jump over Franco's hook to dodge it just like playing skip rope? Let's check it out. 
Oh, my god, we were just fooling around trying this theory, but it actually worked. I didn't quite expect that. But we also tried to dodge the hook by shapeshifting backwards. As you can see, we were caught mid-air. I don't know how this rope skipping technique works, but basically, it only works when leaping forwards. How about let's try this newfound theory on other skills. Let's try this against flame shot. Let's see if we can skip over flame shot. As you can see, we met the flame shot mid-air. This is probably because the flame shot is really big enough and our jump was not that high. So in short, flame shot can't be skipped over. How about let's try to skip on Lolita's ultimate skill. As you can see, we were still stunned even when mid-air. This is maybe because her ultimate came from above towards downwards. So this will basically catch us. So in short, you can try dodging other skills with your wolf shapeshifting. In terms of his combo, we greatly recommend this combo to utilize his skills debuff. First, it's best to be on human form first. If you have a rival as spell, use it to teleport near your desired target. While in human form, use your second skill if there is a need for a speed boost. Then, aim your first skill towards your desired target. This will slow them down while reducing their physical defense. Then, you opt to deal one basic attack just to slow them down further with your passive skill. Then, use your ultimate skill and leap on the enemy. Make sure it gets them to even further slow down the enemy. Then, use your first skill depending on the situation. This will greatly deal burst damage to the target. If you have retribution spell, use it to slow them down even further. Then. Use your second skill swiftly. This will grant you attack speed for awesome scratching speed. This will also boost your speed if a nearby target's health is below 40%. Then just scratch the enemies until their limbs are ripped off. You can use again shape shifting if ever you need to chase enemies or escape death. In case you have sprint, you can use it now if ever you have to chase enemies or escape death. Additional tip, always be generous to other humans, even your enemies. When they want to get your jungle monster kill, offer it to them. Nature will find its way to grant you back that kindness in a different way. Just like this one, Fanny offered the buff back to me. Fanny is also a generous human indeed. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Roger. This video just guides you on how to use Roger the Kurumi way. We would like to thank our Wakandian brother, Rakuten, for being our lab rat for this boot camp. You can search for him in-game and tell him how much you appreciate him, willing to sacrifice his pride and honor to be a test subject. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe and bell button. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway event post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends bootcamp. Cheers.